Okay. Just like that then, I guess. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Dane Genvex and welcome to The Terrible Old Man. Before I could do anything, it had the intro, the little intro thing there. But the main reason I wanted to play this was because it's based on a story written by Lovecraft and I love Lovecraft. Lovecraft is awesome. So we're just going to jump straight in. I don't think it's a very long game, but we're going to jump straight in and see what is going to happen. Okay, so Angelo, when are we going to blow this joint? I say we head out tomorrow. It's a few hours drive to Boston. How long we stay in there for? Oh, I'd say just tonight. We got to keep moving. And then back to Arkham. That's right. I've been talking to a guy up there who might be able to get us some action, you know? So, speaking of action, look at that dame over there. She's got something going on, doesn't she? Incredible. <laughs> Shanek? Zanek? Zanek? Zanek, why don't you get your pasty ass over there and give her your best line? Maybe I will. Maybe I will. And get us some beers while you're at it. You've still got some cash from the old broad the other night. Yeah, I've got a few bucks left. I don't have a dime. Hell, that woman was so old she couldn't even get out the house to spend her godforsaken dollars. Better old manual here spends it on hooch than let it sit there gathering dust for another two years before she bites it. I am right. Well then, get us some beers, boy. Who are you calling boy? Left click to interact. Right click to observe. For inventory and settings, move the cursor to the top of the screen. Got it. So, shall I have a chat with the dame? Let's have a chat with the, the lovely broad over here. Say so there, miss. Can I have a word with you? Leave me alone, greaseball. Hey, hey, hey. No need for that kind of language, lady. I'm merely trying to conversate. Go conversate elsewhere. Maybe to your mother. Whoosh! <laughs> ha! Struck out again, Sonic. Sonic, I don't know. Suit yourself. Oh, I'm not going to give up that easily. Oi! Come on, sweet cheeks. Let me buy you a drink. Get lost. Sweet cheeks? You crack me up, Sonic. Yeah, that wasn't very bright, was it? Okay, let's go get them beers. I wonder which story this is based on. It didn't say, but I'd love to know. Three beers over here. Where are you guys from? Boston, Innsmouth? None of your goddamn business. Just give me some beers. Hey, this is my bar. You watch your manners, stranger. Folk are nice here in Kingsport. We look after each other. Three beers. Please. That'll be two dollars, my foreign friend. Two dollars. Uh, it seems I have exactly two dollars. Two dollars right here. Three beers coming up. Gosh darn it, the barrel is dry. I'm gonna have to go roll up a new one. Sit tight. Ugh. Yeah, exactly. Sigh. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat. Dickie eating his dinner yet? I swear, we set the whole chocolate cake in front of his face and he didn't so much as blink. The boy's been affected. Affected by what? You taking him to Doc Reeves? He'll get to the bottom of it. Well, he's only been acting strange since his running with that old fella the other night. I shouldn't have let the boy out so late. What happened? You know that very old man, a former sea captain of some sort? You see him around town. Pays for his groceries and golden doubloons. 
Oh, I would love to get my hands on some golden doubloons. I've heard about him, yeah. Feeble and ancient. I heard he talks to bottles he has lined up on a table inside his house. Calls them names like Spanish Joe and Mate Alice. It's as if he's speaking to his old crew. Yeah, a most peculiar chap. Best avoided, I think. No need to upset such folk. Something you need to teach, Dickie. A bit of respect. Yes, children should respect their elders. Most of the time. Some elders don't deserve respect. Very few of them, but they're assholes. So what happened was Dickie threw a stone at his window, so you see. And the old man caught him in the act. Gave him a good talking to, I bet. Dicky won't talk about what exactly happened. Oh my. Oh dear. He's a stupid boy. He'd go around throwing stones through old folks' windows, and, well, they aren't going to be happy no matter how feeble they are. I've told him he's not leaving the house for a month apart from going to his lessons. I bet the kid's pretty much thankful for that. Something upset the boy. I mean, I have never met a kid who wouldn't eat a chocolate cake. Wait. He must be quite a scary sight for a young lad to face. Fancy that, using gold coins for currency. Man must be sitting on a fortune. Tell me about it. I heard he kept in clipper ships in the east like unaccountable years back. Brought back untold treasures. Sorry about the wait. Here's your beers. Thank you. Thanks. Interesting story. <clears throat> Boys, you're not going to believe it. You got a date with that broad? He wishes. I think we've got ourselves a job tonight. Well, spit it out then. I heard those two chaps about speaking about a crazy old man who lives in town, so rich he pays for things with gold doubloons. Heck! Gold doubloons? Yeah, he's got a room in his house where he stands there talking to bottles. A rich and senile old fart. <laughs> that sounds like a cinch. Let's get in there tonight and see what he's got on offer. Oh boy, this should be fun. Where's the old man's house then? But I don't know, they didn't say. Well, do I look like I can just pluck this shit out of thin air? Do I look like I've got an encyclopedia up my nose or a phone book up my ass? No. Find out, Zanuck. Find out and we may b find riches tonight. Fine. I'll go digging for information. Say, fellas, what was that you guys were saying about an old man round these parts? What's it to you, stranger? Oh, I just never heard your story. He sounds like a character. Indeed, he is. Shuffles about with his cane, dropping gold all over the show. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, we mainly need to know where he lives, so let's find out where the old man lives. Where does the old man live? His house is along the coast, a crumbling ancient pile it is too. One of the oldest houses in Kingsport, I'd venture. What's the address? Oh, you're thinking of visiting him, are you? Why on earth would you want to see him for? A treasure hunter, are you? Uh, no. No, no I'm not. No. Good. The last thing we need in this town is outsiders bringing their wayward criminal ways with them. So why do you want to know his address? Why should we trust a you outsiders? Uh, travelling salesman. Wish to interview him for the local paper. Long lost relatives. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. It's found something that belongs to him and wish to return it. Like what? From the tax department. He owes us money. Mmm... We don't look like taxmen. And if we're from the tax department, we would have his address. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you have somebody's address? I'm leaning towards one of these two. 
We wish to interview him for the local paper. Why not? We wish to interview him for the local paper. Oh yeah? What's the name of the local paper then? Uh, the Kingsport Commune. Wrong. You, sir, are a pathological liar. Damn. I wonder if that is the right choice and there's like a newspaper thing around here somewhere. No. Okay, what about this? It's some news clippings about an incident at the local port. They're from a paper called the Kingsport, Kingsport Bugle. The Kingsport Bugle then. Yeah, but those might be old. What else have we got? A local Kingsport fisherman. Anything else? Just some old postal cart, put some frames. Put some frames. You know what? Just ignore me. Maybe she can tell me something that'll help. Do you know anything about a rich old man who lives in town? Yeah, if the fellas won't help me, go and ask the broad. But, you know, look around for information. Oh, uh, you're back again. Don Juan doesn't stop trying tonight, does he? I'm a very persistent man, ma'am. I don't know the old man. You're lying. Everybody must know him. Leave me alone. Dang. Okay, back to the fellas then. We'll try the other newspaper name. Hello again. Oh, I suppose you still want his address. How do we know to trust you, outsider? Uh, we are travelling salesmen. Oh yeah, what are you selling? Shoes! Can we have a look at them? I need some new shoes. Sure thing, I'm wearing them right here. You're wearing your stock? What better way to advertise? I've got boxes of them out in the car. Hey, those shoes look very worn. You're full of it, stranger. Lies, lies, lies. Damn! Okay, let's try that newspaper thing. Hello again. Oh, uh, well, I suppose you still want his address. How do we know we can trust you, outsider? We wish to interview him for the local paper. What's the name of the local paper then? The Kingsport Bugle. Ha! That old rag hasn't been printed for years. Lies, lies, and more lies. Dang, flab it. I don't think those others would be worth trying, though. Barman, maybe? Do you know about a rich old man who lives in town? Can't say I do. You must! I don't gossip about locals, sir. This is a respectable town. Ha! Fine. What can you tell me about that board? She's in here working all the time. Doesn't look like she's up to much. What's her line of work? Why don't you ask her yourself? Fine! I'm missing something here, all this back and forth. Not you again, I'm busy. Yeah, what are you working on, apart from looking pretty? Well, I might not look busy, but my job requires a lot of thinking. Yeah? What's your vocation? I'm a journalist. She's a journalist! Whoa, a big shot. Why am I talking to you? Say, you wrote for the paper? Yes, the Kingsport Daily Star. Interesting. Now, get lost before I write an article about outsiders pestering local women in bars. Okay, okay, put your knickers back on, lady. I'm just trying to get in them. I don't need you to get them in a twist. At least now I know what the local paper is. Hello again. Oh, I suppose you still want his address. How do we know we can trust you, outsider? We wish to interview him for the local paper. It is the Kingsport Daily Star. I got mixed up before. We are from the Kingsport Daily Star. Nonsense. It's the truth. We're journalists from Boston. We do freelance work. Sounds like the old man could give us a great story. Imagine the tales he must have. Tales of exploration, treasure and chivalry. You know what? Go ahead. I don't really believe you, but this is getting annoying now. 
The old man lives up on Water Street. His property backs onto Ship Street near the shore. Outside his home are curious foreign standing stones. An unmistakable sight. Thanks. I appreciate it. Okay, boys. We got the address. Are you going to talk to him? Fellas, I got the address. Good work, Tanny boy. Where is it? Back entrance is on Ship Street by the arbor. Hey, we passed that street on the way here. Just a few blocks away. Sonic, you take the car. Silver and I will go on foot and we meet you at the place. It's better if we arrive separately. Nice plan. Let's go, boys. There's treasure to be had. This isn't going to end well for anyone. Later that evening. Alright, we're all here. What's the plan, boss? Silver, you and I will go through this here gate. Sonic, you stay on watch. Okay. Before we do anything, though, looks like there's a light on up there. Sonic, can you have a better look? We gotta make sure he ain't watching us. Okay. It's too far away. I ain't climbing up there. Can we climb up the street lamp? Well, we could try climbing over using that street pole, but the gate seems more conventional choice. Use the gate. Yet. Okay, I'm not messing with the gate until we're set to go. Uh, can't see what's in the window. I've got a spyglass someplace. In the car, maybe? In the trunk. We might have a spyglass in the trunk. Creepy music, yo. The trunk is locked by solitary padlock. Do we have a key? We have a key. Use it there. Doesn't fit. This key is just for the ignition. Well, bugger it all. No, no, no. Put it back. Yeah. Come talk. Ask Silver if he's got the trunk key. Hmm. Do you have a key for a trunk? Oh, balls. Oh, do. Here you go. Thanks. Well, that was that was easy enough. Give us the key here. Don't be gonging in my ears. Okay. A good robber always comes prepared. We've got a spyglass, a crowbar, and some masks. Good for you, buddy. Okay. Can we move on? Put that back. Use the spyglass on the window. He really is to talking to bottles. He's in there. Silly old fool looks like the easiest target we ever had. Good work, Sanak. He really is talking to a bunch of bottles. That's what I said. <laughs> As long as we are quiet out there, he shouldn't even notice us. He's engrossing these queer little pursuits. Pathetic. You got our masks then? Actually, I do. Here you go. Here's the masks. Okay, get the gate open. I've got a crowbar for that. Now skedaddle, get us some gold. Ha! We're in! Good work, Zanak. Okay, Silver, let's go in. How are we gonna play a boss? The old sea dog might not be too loquacious concerning his treasures. We may need to make him talk. That's if the gold is even hidden. If he is as senile as we suspect, he may have stacks of it piled up all round. Don't go too hard on the old goat. We'll do what we need to. Screams of an old man can be easily muffled. Silver, you've hit the nail on the head. Arseholes. Sonic, wait for us in the car. We should be back in an hour at most. Sounds like a plan, Ricky. Or Richie, whichever. So I'm just the... the... Remember, be gentle. So I'm the one with the soft heart. The the wee idiot. The fool of the trio. Okay. 
I guess we're gonna wait. Oh, the light just went off. Something tells me that senile old man isn't so senile. What the hell is taking them so long? Oh my. What's happened? They better not have knocked the old fella off. I told him. I told him. I said, don't go too hard on the old goat. Ah, here they come. Oh boy. I wouldn't be so sure, my goat man. Oh shit. This isn't gonna be good. Shit. What the hell? Fuck me! Little things make considerable excitement in little towns. Which is the reason that Kingsport people talked all that spring and summer about the three unidentifiable bodies, horribly slashed as with many cutlasses and horribly mangled as by the tread of many cruel boot heels, which the tide washed in. Crap! He killed them! He didn't just kill them! It's like his whole crew killed them. And some people even spoke of things as trivial as the deserted motor car found on Ship Street, or certain especially inhuman cries, probably of a stray animal or migratory bird, heard in the night by wakeful citizens. But in this idle village gossip, the terrible old man took no interest at all. He was by nature reserved, and when one is aged and feeble, one's reserve is doubly strong. Besides, so ancient a sea captain must have witnessed scores of things much more stirring in the far-off days of his unremembered youth. He's witnessed and done a lot more than just that. Is that it? Buggery hell. This was a short game, but that was somewhat unexpected and a wee bit eerie. Wow, wow. You see, don't go poking your nose in other people's business, people. That's the lesson here, all right? Don't go poking your nose about where it doesn't belong. Okay? Cool. Mamma mia. It's a good lesson, though. Seriously, don't go poke your nose in where it doesn't belong. And, you know, crime doesn't pay. Don't go trying to steal some old guy's doubloons. Besides, if he's got doubloons, he's probably not someone you want to be messing with. That was also creepy. I mean, the game just closed on its own. <laughs> okay, well, I guess it's trying to send me a message then. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I certainly did. Definitely caught me a bit off guard there. But if you did enjoy it, remember to leave me a like down below. But thank you so much. And I will see you next time. Bye.